pretty tired. Pistrophy. <laughs> oh my god. Pasta! This is New York magic. Oh, my friends, welcome. Hmm, well, that golden hour was short lived. It looks like there's a storm rolling in. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Oh my god, it feels like forever since I properly picked up this camera. Oh, what can I say, you guys? First of all, I'm starting the vlog in the apartment because I feel like my last couple of videos, I've been like on the go starting it in New York and it's quite loud and fussy. And I, I just wanted to have a chat to you guys to start off the vlog. I have some exciting, exciting, exciting stuff. Um, for example, my merch may or may not have arrived. I can finally talk to you guys about it. First of all, let me update you guys on where I've been, what's happened. Came to last Monday and last Monday was amazing. As you guys know, in the last vlog I posted, I was prepping for this shoot that I was doing. Um, obviously I'm based in New York now, but a crew came all the way over from Ireland, where I'm from, to shoot a fashion segment on me for a 10 minute episode for RTE Player. If you're in Ireland, it's like our national channel. And just for context, I'll pop some clips now of like where we were shooting. We are shooting at the apartment, so you can see the setup and we were also shooting out in Brooklyn. It was really fun. Shooting some cool stop motion stuff um, in Jefferson, which means good coffee too. At AP. Yeah. This is day two of shooting. We shot from nine till about nine yesterday and we started at eight this morning so pretty tired and i've also got a bad case of pink eye which is great because you know i'm always 100 percent except for the days that i need to be 100 percent while they're doing that i'll get and then i got sick pretty much why there was no vlog and no video uh, thursday video last week it's because i had two tissues stuck up my nostrils for the entire time so we're back we're feeling good finally and yeah i've got some exciting news i pissed off the sun's gone in for my like big unveiling but yeah as i mentioned maybe maybe not earlier depending on my editing my merch came somewhere around my last vlog but i didn't open it i was just patiently waiting to like unbox it and see how it looked on and off trying it on i actually just took the product shots there's my bigger camera right there um right before this i basically just did a little mini photo shoot um just like so you guys can see the images better on like my instagram and all that which by the way is always here i always try and mention it and <laughs> do the old cross promotion oh my gosh i'm so excited and i'm not gonna big it up too much because at the end of the day it's just a simple design on a t-shirt i'm not gonna sit here and say it's mind-blowing merch but the time and the mental anxiety and the stress it's taken to get to this point. I think maybe I started this about two months ago. Let me just premise by saying, these designs may not be to everyone's taste. The first drop, I really wanted it to be something true to me and my interests. I basically made the slogan tee for the gal like me, a weirdo basically. <laughs> there are two slogan tee designs that I came out with. The first one being, Ah, my conspiracy theorist tee. I really love this one. It's like a boyfriend style unisex t-shirt. And I also have one more. This one is the very niche t-shirt. It's my part-time alien tee. Ah, I am so excited to show you guys these. Um, as you guys know, I'm a huge X-Files slash alien conspiracy theorist nerd so these two t-shirts kind of combined the two things I love most don't be disappointed if you don't like them I will be doing more drops if this goes well and every drop will be quite different or will be a completely different theme let me put on one right now okay so this is probably my favorite tee of the two it's the conspiracy theorist tee in the unisex shape so it's a boyfriend fit it's for obviously unisex boys and girls and i'm wearing the size small which is a uk small so that means it's a us extra small a uk size eight pretty much i would say and a us size for. A second, let me switch cameras, show you guys the t-shirts properly and kind of an idea of how to style them if you struggle with styling slogan tees like I have in the past. I think they look so cool just with like a blazer obviously by themselves as well. It's still pretty warm in New York so t-shirts are like still very relevant for my wardrobe right now but if you want to take it into like autumn winter and um, this is how I'd style it. Just a simple blazer. I think it looks really cool. Add some gold layered jewellery on my neck and um, 
yeah as you can see it still tucks really well into my jeans there's not too much bulk or anything like that and yeah it's kind of how I would style it then this is the women's fitted tee so the sleeves are a little bit shorter and obviously the t-shirt is a little bit more fitted it just does mean though that the print is a little bit obviously more stretched because it's a bit more tight to the body oh, i really love the print the part-time alien i want all of my weirdos out there to come out of hiding if you have a friend that is into like alien conspiracies all of that stuff let them know about this t-shirt because i want to see people repping the weirdness okay i really want um, to see you guys represent so yeah this is what it looks like tucked into the jeans it is not as long as the unisex tee it's um a little bit shorter hopefully the camera is picking up like how nice the fabric is and obviously a close-up of like the ink and the print and what it looks like up close yeah by the way Oh my god the quality of these is amazing like this ain't no fruit of the loom shit okay this is like really 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 nice quality um t-shirt they're not scratchy they're not dry and um, they're just really nice they're like much nicer than your average so i'm really happy to say that all of the t-shirts that i chose for my merch are by um stella and stanley which is number one all 100 percent organic fabric so there's no chemicals involved or harmful chemicals involved in making the t-shirts and um, people don't understand that like those chemicals get absorbed into your skin so i'm really happy about that but i'm even more happy about the fact that all of these t-shirts actually have a fair wear tag which means that fair wear is a non-profit organization which is basically like an ethical stamp of approval. So all of the factories that these t-shirts have been made from have all been inspected and are up to code and are great working environments for the workers working there. So that was really important to me to have like an ethical 100% um, organic t-shirt for you guys. The place where my t-shirts are printed are based in the UK. So I believe the t-shirts are about 22 pounds each and the shipping is only about three quid but they also ship to like everywhere else along with uh, the US. I believe the US shipping is around six pounds. So it's a little bit more and the t-shirt is a little bit more in dollars, but I do believe that for um, an ethically sourced t-shirt, that it's worth it it's still a pretty good price so yes i will leave my link to all of the t-shirts down below um each type of t-shirt has its own page and i believe the women's t-shirt which is the more fitted tee that i tried on for you guys goes from an extra small all the way up to i'm not quite sure but it does go up to like a large or extra large at least i think and the unisex tee unfortunately does not come in an extra small it just comes in a small which is what i'm wearing now um but it does go up to like a bigger size, at least 2XL. So there's quite a lot of room and hopefully as much of you guys as possible will be catered to in that um, size range. Oh my God, I forgot a very vital piece of information about getting the t-shirts if you do want one. Basically I've opted for a pre-sale campaign type format so the t-shirts will be available to buy from 21 days from now and at the end of that they're limited so you know once the campaign is done it's done and uh, I did this for two reasons first of all cost saving it means it's cheaper for you guys to get the t-shirts and second of all I thought it was a more eco sustainable way of doing things because if I just printed a bunch of t-shirts and half of them didn't sell, they'd just be dead stock. And I don't think that's a very wise, sustainable decision to make. So this way, the exact number of t-shirts are printed and sent out to you guys all at the same time once they're printed at the end of the 21 days. So yeah, I know it's a little bit of a wait, but I promise you the time will fly. It's taken me so long to get to this point and like it's just a silly, simple t-shirt, but I'm so proud of myself for like putting myself out there in this way again because I just lost my confidence like so hard like anyone that's been stepped out of an industry it was hard for me to accept that because I've been entrepreneurial since I was like since I knew what money was it's always been in me to make things to sell things I would go around my park selling stuff like I just never had any shame I didn't even care if the stuff I was selling was bad it was just like an innate need in me to share something I've made with people and I'm so happy that I plucked the courage with you guys' help out of somewhere to bring these out. And I know it doesn't seem like much to you guys, but like it's taken a lot for me to get to this point. So I appreciate your support and yeah, let's get on with the vlog. Oh my God, 
you guys it's beginning <laughs> the sweat moustache hello everyone another day another vlog i suppose uh yeah i put some clothes on one of those days where it's unbearably humid in new york and it's so annoying because the humidity just wrecks the actual sunshine like the weather is great but it's unbearable when the humidity is at like 70 or 80 percent like it is today it's like a good half an hour 40 minutes on the train so i'm gonna do a little bit of work on my phone i've been doing a lot of like igtvs and stories and stuff for brands on my own channels but also for like their social media so i'm gonna edit one while i'm on the train hopefully pass some time and yeah we'll see where the day goes than Karen Britchick. You would have seen her a couple of vlogs ago and yeah and then we I'm sure we were both really busy and then I got sick so I'm very excited to be back up and at it and uh, yeah well up for a good chin wag with my European expat so we are going to lunch somewhere where I wanted to go for a while um, it's called Epistrophe so I booked us a little table and I'm already a couple of minutes late but the M train you know that M train life unpredictable sweat mustache going strong but Karen I'm trying okay I'm trying to look cute for you I got my nice little mango sunglasses on my merch of course couldn't not rip the merch on the first day of uh, after announcing it yesterday which I hope you didn't mind me talking about it so much I felt like there was a lot of vital information but eight minutes was probably a bit excessive I know thanks for bearing with me with that so as promised back to New York scheduling but yeah this is my outfit cute little bag um, my new favorite jeans, some cute shoes, my updated but standard basic white tee outfit, nothing new. By the way, if I haven't responded to anyone's like outfit questions on Instagram or on YouTube about anything I've been wearing recently, it's because I have a fashion video coming on Thursday. It's an updated like capsule pieces slash haul. Don't forget to subscribe and be notified so you don't miss it. Very, very excited to just get back into normal uploading routine. So I'm almost there, I'm on Mott Street. Nice little quiet buzz around here. Here we are, Epistrophe for lunch. Very cute. Very, very cute. Ooh, toying with the idea of getting a midday cocktail, but oh, their lunch menu is so nice. Like lots of like nice salads, pasta, all the good stuff. <laughs> so I got the cashew and Pepe. You dig in, girl, you dig in. What did you get again? Oh crap, I can't remember. Oh, having a cheeky little lunch. Cheese. With the woman herself, <laughs> so fab. Look at these brows, by the oh, way. Oh. Been admiring Karen's fluffed up brows. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've never had a brow compliment before, ever. Oh my god, girl. I'm trying to cool off. I know. It's oh. so <laughs> this lighting, though. Um, we've taken refuge in here. Probably, like, this is why we got drinks, because we're going to be in here a while. Um, it suddenly yeah. started raining. Uh, that's why it was so humid. Don't know why I didn't think of that. We're all set. Karen's got. Oh, yes, finally. The second batch of food. We got it right this time. Oh, yeah. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us, wine and bread and pasta, happy days. Look at us with our doggy bag. I have to call Michael to come get, come get Karen. She's not able for that glass of wine. Stop! I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Much more sophisticated than me. No, we are going to get ice cream to cool off, I think. I think we deserve it. I got a sweet tooth. Yeah, we both got a sweet tooth. I'm an absolute sugar addict, so... <laughs> I don't think my friendship with Karen will be good for my insights, but that's fine. <laughs> Life is meant to be enjoyed. Or for thighs and hips and... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm friends with too many people that like salads, so... <laughs> uh, here's some ice cream. So we decided to share this colossal lemon and coffee ice cream from Oddfellows. It's so massive! Nice. Leaning to of pizza in an ice cream. Starbucks popped in here really quick because I need to connect to the internet to send off 
that uh, video, client video that I was editing on the way in on the train. So I wanted to get a drink before I hop back on the train because it's so warm. So strawberry acai refresher it is. Steel strokes and being good today. Okay, I think I am done with Soho. I'm ready to head home. And yeah, work and play, my friends, work and play. I might actually head home and film a video. I don't know why, but I'm in such a good filming mood. And if the light holds up for me, I might squeeze in. Sweaty Betty has made it home. It's such a beautiful evening. It's a like golden hour in the apartment. And yeah, it just feels good to be home. Oh, it's such a fab day with Karen. I could literally talk to her all day long. I feel like my dream girly sleepover would be Karen, Eva from Eva in the City, and Tamara from, um, or TJ as she's also known, the boy from Instagram. If you like me and you like Karen, you'll definitely like those other girls. So if you fancy some new YouTube watches, I'll leave them in the description below. You should definitely go subscribe. And to be honest, I have other things to be doing. I have to get some shipping labels prepared for um, some samples that I paid to get printed to send out to some online friends. I wasn't able to print that much and get them out to as many people as I wanted just because I was paying for them myself. Well, we're cracking on. With the edit not doing too badly and yes my jeans are open because pasta we actually had a really nice lunch at that place epistrophe i really recommend it and every time i've passed there at lunchtime it's never rammed which is a great like it's a good thing if you're meeting someone they always seem to have at least one table free Kyle texted me and he said he is not gonna be home till later. He probably won't get home till about 8, 8.30. So I have no idea what we're gonna have for dinner. Nothing in the fridge, it's one of those nights. Hopefully we don't eat bad because that's what always happens when you've got nothing in the fridge, am I right? I did have a doggy bag with a, like a full pasta dish that was ordered by accident at the restaurant and they gave it to us in like a takeaway container, but I ended up giving it to a homeless man on the way home because, well, number one, I was all pasta out and I'm sure he'll much more appreciate it. So, so yeah, for now, I'm gonna love yous and leave yous and I'll see you guys tomorrow for a cute little weekend adventure as usual. Hi, hello, good morning. Um, yeah, it's Saturday. Welcome back to the last day of the vlog. We have just gotten ready at like what? What time is it now? Like half three, like almost four o'clock. We're up early and then we were like watching Shane Dawson's Jeffree Star thing and we went back to sleep and you know how it is. Saturdays just kind of tend to slip away in this household. But alas, we've got clothes on. I went for this little nasty gal top today. Um, it is a little big, but you guys would have seen it in kind of like a vlog haul a little while back. I was thinking of going for also this from Nasty Gal, the little lacy button up shirt thing. But I asked for Kyle's opinion and he went for the square neck top. So that is what we're wearing for a little Williamsburg adventure today. Also got these fab new jeans from J Brand, which I'll show you better once we get outside. So lazy today, I even did my makeup from bed. Obviously going for very natural Saturday makeup. I don't even have um, like skin makeup on today. So thank you, Peter Thomas Roth for that. Uh, I actually posted my like my main three, three product vitamin C skincare routine over on my IGTV so you can check that out if you want to know what products like have evened out my skin this much. Concealer under my eyes, bronzer on my lids and bronzer on my cheeks and some lip balm from Glossier, that's about it. in Williamsburg as always. If you don't know and you're new to the vlog, Williamsburg is sort of the first stop on a um, popular side of Brooklyn, outside of Manhattan, and it's like full of young people. Uh, it's kind of like a mini Manhattan to be honest, but it does make it handy for us because it means that we don't always have to go to Manhattan to do fun stuff. We are heading for the first time this summer over to Smorgasburg Food Market, which I've showed you a lot in the vlogs before. Last year I did a bunch of summer guys and fun things to do for summer that I still read about it this year. I have a whole playlist that I leave below. So yeah, if you're looking for my recommendations of things to do in New York, both touristy and a little bit off the beaten track, then be sure to check those out. But um, yeah, I haven't been to Smorgasburg yet.
got a refill on this strawberry stuff because it was so good. And yeah, I got my food pretty fast. I went for like a whiting fish and chips and it's amazing. There's like kind of like chili in the batter. It's really good. And then Colin went for the, what was it? Was it like a Thai style fried chicken thing? But look at the best part. The view from this park is amazing. This is New York magic right here. That shot of the Empire State is killer. Such a nice evening. Now we're gonna go and head into Williamsburg again and go plant shopping. Yay, mission for the day is to deck the apartment out in plants. So let's see where that goes. First up, Chelsea Garden Center. Voila, we have a bunch of outdoor plants, but last time we were here, there was a bunch of the plants we wanted inside. So let's see if we get lucky today. To Mother Life, oh, these are the ones that I want to get for like draping, growing down, I think. I know nothing about plants, what am I talking about? Okay, saving best for last. Made it to Crest Hardware. They have a really good um, garden center in the back. It's super big and they kind of had everything we wanted last time we were here, so I think this is gonna be the stop. Oh, oh my God, favorite place ever. We made it back in one piece. It was actually not as traumatic as I expected. Managed to carry everything we got fairly okay. I'm gonna show you what we ended up picking up at Crest Hardware now. Oh, but oh my God, it was so hot today. It's days like today carrying plants and like shit up to the apartment that I so appreciate the fact that we have like an elevator now. Like in my last apartment, everything was a debacle getting up to the fifth floor. Oh, we have curtains and they actually do provide like a good bit of shade. So impressed. If you remember, these are the Ikea linen ones. I'm so happy with the weave. Like it actually has a super nice, like irregular marl to it. I was afraid because it was Ikea and like really commercial that it wouldn't look as sort of, I don't know, like handmade, I suppose, but it's really pretty back. Oh, look at this privacy. I'm not able. So yeah, I dropped a pretty penny on these guys right here. I don't have a crazy green thumb, but I have been enjoying taking care of my tomato plant. So we got a fiddly fig because what millennial apartment is not complete without one of these. Um, so we'll see how we get on with that. And I wanted some really nice drapey plants to grow down in maybe the bedroom. And I, I'm not, completely set on where I want everything. Apparently these are relatively easy to take care of. What plant is this? It's a, well, there you go. That's what it's called. <laughs> and then this cute little fern because I did get some macrame like plant hangers for the ceiling. You already have a pot though. I really love how it looks really mid-century modern looking. And I feel like the cast iron is so much more cooler than the wooden base. I feel like we have so much like wood going on already that I didn't want to get like a wooden plant stand. Hoping to have the apartment tour ready very soon. I'm waiting on like one more interiors piece. Yeah, that was sort of our Saturday. We're home nice and early. It's only around seven o'clock. So we'll probably crash with some raspberry sorbet. Next episode of Sasha Baron Cohen's new show, Who Is America, which is hilarious and really kind of depressing at the same time. And Alone on History. I think that's gonna be our Saturday night. It's a chill one this weekend. We've been really run off our feet the last couple of weekends. So it's nice to just Take it easy. I will see you guys on Thursday for an updated capsule pieces, maybe haul. It won't be like as big as a normal haul, but um, I got some really nice pieces. So until then, goodbye from the two of us. Um, see you guys in the comments. Can't wait to hear what you got up to this week. Um, I need to sit down and reply to last week's comments now. But yeah, just because I was sick, I was a little bit slow on the mark this week. But yeah, let me know if you've had a good week, a bad week. Let's all chat in the comments below and lift each other up. I'll see you guys on Thursday.